You may all wish to recall that very recently, in customs, uh, the command at the Tinkan Island port, we impounded a number of uh, rifles and dangerous weapons just very recently. Two days ago, in Oné, Port Harcourt, we have this press, brief, uh, press briefing where we showcase the seizure of over 800 different kind of rifles and uh, 100,000 rounds of ammunition. In a related development, we are here again to inform the public that the Motala Mohammed Area Command, the cargo unit, acting on credible intelligence from our collaborators on 19th of January, June 2024, deployed its personnel to man all exit points effectively and mandated proper examination on all consignments as a result of the tip-off that we got. During the examination, an item was discovered and suspected to be part of a rifle from a consolidated consignment, which had, here will be number 235-587-737-755, which originated from Turkey. Consequently, the entire consignment was isolated from the rest for thorough examination. At the end of this process, it was established that four packages inside this consignment were used to conceal 55 pieces of unassembled Joseph Magnum Tom Tomahawk semi-automatic shotgun. These rifles were concealed using shower faucets. The duty paid value of these illicit arms is 270 million 888,109 Naira 29 Kobo only. Of course, we are not particularly interested in the value of this. We are interested in the danger, the threat that it represents for national security. One suspect is currently in our custody in connection with this importation and is assist assisting with ongoing investigations to uncover the perpetrators of this very heinous crime. Analysis of this and similar recent seizures indicate that some unscrupulous Nigerians based in Turkey and some other parts of Europe are purchasing and packaging these illicit arms into Nigeria. Our intelligence further revealed that they are exploring new frontiers to perpetrate their nefarious activities. The two previous seizures I talked about were made in our seaports. This is an attempt to try and bring in these items via the airport. I can assure Nigerians that all our commands are on red alert to intercept any of this kind of illicit arms importation, irrespective of their attempted mode and places of entry. Apart from these uh, pistols, uh, apart from these uh, pump action rifles, also on display today are some military and paramilitary accoutrements improperly imported without end user certificates with duty paid value of over 1 billion 298 million 19,276 Naira 91 Kobo only. The breakdown of these items includes 148 drones, 172 ballistic vests, 15 pieces of ballistic plates, 1 piece of ballistic element, 8 pieces of walkie-talkie, 9,172 pieces of military and paramilitary badges, 20 pieces of camouflage flag, uh, vests, 20 pieces of camouflage uniform, 100 pieces of camouflage vests, 
172 pieces of camouflage cap and 120 pieces of binoculars. The total duty paid value of all the displayed items is 1,568,977,000 907,308 Naira 48 Kobo. Relying on the relevant provisions of our enabling law, the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023, the following decisions have been taken in respect of this seizure. Number one, the 55 pieces of unassembled Georgia Magnum semi-automatic shotgun are hereby declared seized with all the concealing items. Number two, all of those items associated with the shotgun would be handed over to the coordinator or his representative of the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons operating under the Office of the National Security Advisor for diligent investigation and prosecution. The lone suspects so far arrested will be handed over to the center for further processing and will be working very diligently with other agencies of government to apprehend all other parties that may have been involved in this importation. All other controlled items that were imported without the requisite end user certificates are also hereby seized and will be handed over to the Office of the National Security Advisor. And finally, officers who are involved in this, through their diligence, integrity, and dedication to duty, has resulted into this remarkable seizure, would be adequately rewarded in a manner that is provided for by the Nigeria Customs Service Act 2023. It is also possible that some officers may have compromised their position. They may have compromised the oath that they swore, the oath of allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And in similar manner, those officers, if found culpable in the importation of this, would also be subjected to severe sanctions as provided by the law. Nobody is clapping for that. I understand. As I wind down this, I'd like to extend my very heartfelt, warm commendation to the Customs Area Controller, Motala Mohammed Airports, Controller MT Yahweh, and its dedicated officers and men for this interception. I was in very close contact with him in the process of making this seizure. His initiative and his initiative was very, very, very critical in knocking this particular one. It's unwavering professionalism and commitment. It's therefore truly commendable. I also like to express our sincere gratitude to all our various partners, uh, some of them within the country, some of them outside the country, who worked with us and provided us, provided us the invaluable intelligence that was very crucial for this interception. Lastly, when we have seizures of this nature, we are sending a very strong warning to anyone who might be considering using this kind of routes through the airport, our seaports, or our land borders to import these merchants of debts into Nigeria. We will be relentless in our pursuits of securing our national frontiers and fostering national security. With us, we will not condone any act that threatens the nation's national security and economic prosperity. Once again, I thank all of you for your attention. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Um, I'm aware that uh, during those last sets of uh, seizures, um, uh, there was uh, some kind of contact with Turkish authorities uh, to see what we can do what the World Customs Organization encourages in this kind of situation is a kind of a customs to customs uh, cooperation uh, through uh, an instrument of uh, cooperation between us. 
so that it will allow us to exchange intelligence, it will allow us to exchange information, best practices. Particularly, it will also enable us to have access to data that can help us in investigation. And I can assure you that uh, since uh, the saga of ONE started, we have kick-started this operation. And uh, it might be desirable for us to go to Turkey, but we don't really need to uh, get into Turkey even before we start our process of investigation. Uh, don't also forget that uh, uh, Turkey is a democratic state that has an embassy and is well represented in Nigeria. So we will be engaging with their mission in Nigeria uh, to see how we can get as much information as possible. Let me also announce that I was uh, involved as a younger officer uh, in the plan to consummate uh, a mutual administrative uh, agreement in customs matters with uh, the Customs Administration of Turkey. Uh, we left off that process at, at, at a stage, and I can assure us that what has happened now has created the opportunity for us to revisit that and possibly fast track uh, the conclusion of that uh, agreement so that we can finalize it and leverage the provision to get uh, everything that we need. It portends a very dangerous uh, threat uh, for us. You know, the, uh, the signs are indeed very, very ominous that uh, things are happening and it's coming the same way from, uh, uh, from Turkey. But those that are familiar with our operations know that uh, since we automated our process, uh, our process has the capacity to enable us to do some system-based audits. So we can track a number of things. We can track the importers. We can profile the agents. We can know what they have done before now. We can know what they are putting in our system next. So you know, the system is so robust that at least we can do all the preliminary data that can give us very credible leads, you know, to get across to all of these people. And it is our hope that when we get those information, uh, the agencies that has the mandate to do, to conduct investigation and prosecution will have had enough uh, materials that they will use to ensure successful prosecution. So I would just say at this stage, fingers crossed, we already have you know, somebody in our, you know, in our custody, and uh, he may have also started to sing for us. So we will encourage him to sing some more, and uh, from his songs, uh, we will get more lyrics. <laughs> of National Security Advisor and the National Coordinator for National Center for the Control of Malam and Light Weapons, Babatunde Johnson Kukuma, DIG retired. I received this hands so that normal procedure will be applied to them, that is standard operation procedure will be applied to them as a veteran in our functions of the National Center. I want to appreciate the custom service in general from the controller general, our office officer for this field. Three days ago, we had a similar one, and I'm sure all people that want to bring this country down they will take a note and retreat back and work together to make this country a great one.